I'm going to show you how you can build multiple agents that you can get to talk to each other and pass data and variables through different workflows. So if you're trying to connect to tools that can't be called directly from your tools agent, you can set up a, another workflow to call them separately. There's a few different methods I've seen to this, some working better than others, but this one, in my opinion, is the easiest and simplest method I've found so far and it gets the job done 100% of the time. With that being said, there may be better practices to go about this, and if you do happen to know of any, please drop a comment down below, and I would love to check it out. Anyways, let's get started. Now, you might have run into this issue before where you're using N8N, and you're trying to use the tools agent to essentially call a different tool, so either you're trying to use Airtable or something, but the application isn't natively integrated within here right now. So let's say LinkedIn or Twitter, you know, you're trying to upload social media posts, but these aren't tools that are currently available to call from the AI agent. So what you can do, as you probably are aware, is you can just call a NNN workflow tool. But I ran into a lot of issues where it's hard to pass the data from one agent to another. So from one separate workflow to a completely distinct uh, other workflow. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best way that you can go about this. For this example, we're going to be creating a hypothetical where we want to create different posts for different social media platforms. So for, for X and for also Instagram. Now, what I have is I have a air table of all these different templates, and these are all highly engaging hooks that I use for my automation system when it comes to posting on my social media platforms. So, you know, you can look at the example. I have action, number of thing. Um, here's a post example. I've increased lead generation by 50% with a new AI driven funnel strategy. So what we want to do is we want to take this and we basically want to give it to our AI agent and have it determine which one's going to be the best based off of an idea that we're going to be giving our agent. Then it's going to take that information and pass it through this workflow. So this workflow right here is an X posting agent. Well, it's actually just posting in my Google Sheets for now. I didn't connect it to X for the time being. You know, this is just demo sake, but hypothetically I could just include X right here. And uh, where is it? I could just create a tweet right there if I wanted to, but we're just going to use this for demo sake, as I mentioned. So we're gonna keep it relatively simple and we're going to be posting everything within this Google Sheet right here. So as you can see, I already have some dummy data. Here's the post. And here's the here's the hook right here, and here's the rest of the uh, rest of the tweet down here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to delete that for now. And what I want to do is let me give you an example. If I were to test this, and I'm saying I need you to create me a tweet, I'll say in X post that shows people how powerful no code solutions are and you don't have to have a technical background. Okay, so I basically want to have AI expound on this post. I wanted to find one of these engaging, I wanted to find the best templates to use. So these are all different hooks as I, as I've said. Okay, so error and subnode create an Instagram post. So I'm gonna delete this for now because we didn't even have anything in there. And now we'll just try running this again. So I'll open up the AI agent, test this step, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's running through my vector store tool going into Pinecone, and Pinecone is where I stored all these different templates. So what I did here, I just downloaded the grid view. I downloaded this as a CSV, put it straight into my vector database. So it's able to easily search all that information and pass it through the next workflow. So what I mean by that is it's finding the best engaging hook for what I wrote out within here. And it's passing that data into this workflow tool right here. So if I open up this different tool, I go to executions and I find the most recent. So I believe it's this one it should be. Once this loads in, we can see that it ran successfully. And if I open up my Google Sheets, I see here, here's the tweet. AI automation is revolutionizing industries. 70% of companies are investing in AI to enhance efficiency and innovation. Automation is not just a trend. It's necessary to stay competitive. Are you ready to embrace AI in your strategy? Then it just includes some hashtags. So this is specifically prompted for Twitter. 
Now you can have different agents that will be prompted for Instagram, different agents that will be prompted for LinkedIn and YouTube community posts maybe. So if I back up and essentially I'm having this agent determine which workflow that I should be going down, whether that should be for a tweet or if it should be for Instagram or LinkedIn, I'm having it determine which hook would be best for the idea that I'm mentioning as well. So for this idea, I'm saying um, no code solutions and stuff like that. You don't have to be technical, have a technical background. So it's trying to find which um, which of these hooks would fit best under that and which make the most sense. OK. So once we get into here, I'm going to explain how we actually pass through all this data. So all the data from Pinecone, it's going to be sent into this query. Then that query is going to be passing into here. And what I'm doing here is I'm just giving it a, uh, I'm telling it to stringify and give me a JSON output. And this tools agent is basically the prompt for LinkedIn, or I'm sorry, Twitter or X, whatever you call it. But if I'm using a different workflow, this is where I would be using Instagram or LinkedIn to be prompting it for that specific platform instead. Then we're passing this information to Google Sheets and then I'm having an edit field field where um, I'm sending the responses done. Okay, so how can you actually pass this data? It all comes down to this execute workflow trigger. And you've probably run into issues with this in the past where you're not able to, you know, query and pass through the variables that you're getting from from this agent or workflow right here. So what I've done is I've created a workflow. And I'll show you what you can do is if you create a new tool, you open one up. And if you call a new N8N N workflow tool, what I'm doing is I'm first creating a brand new workflow right here. So let's do this step by step. I'm going to add a brand new workflow. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to execute workflow. So I'll choose one called by another workflow. And what I want to do is I want to save this. And I'm going to want to copy this ID right here. And if we go to my original workflow tool, so this one right here, let's make this an Instagram tool, Instagram post. So whenever you want to post on Instagram, um, this is what we'll be using. We'll rename that. And I'm just going to fill this out. So we could just copy the previous description. So we're going to call this tool to write a tweet, but instead of a tweet, it'll be um, to write an Instagram post. Okay. And for the workflow, we will just choose by ID. Then we'll put in the ID right here. Okay. Field to return is response. Now in the past, what you could have done is you can add values and specify your input schema and you can just include some JSON, but this is a little bit more complex and it's not always going to be necessary. And I've even had some issues with it myself. So I think what we are going about is the simplest and by far the easiest method. So once we put in our ID, we are going to basically run this automation. So I'm going to say, can you create me an Instagram post going over the power of no code solutions. So obviously it's not going to pass through it correctly because we haven't had anything set up within this Instagram post. So we shall see. Now, if we go into, since it's finished, if we go into the executions, it says it ran properly, but we're still going to have to make some tweaks. Once this loads in, we shall go into this execute workflow trigger. And we can see the query. Here's the output that we were getting from the agent that we just um, were talking to. So it says unleash the power of no code solutions. You know, we're not too focused on, on what we're getting. What we are going to be focused on is the JSON. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this JSON string. I'm going to back out. I'm going to go to editor. And I'm going to edit the JSON right here. So instead of this output query, we're going to replace this with what we just received. And if you want to verify that the JSON looks correct, what you can do is actually you can search up JSON lint. 
And within here, this is where you can validate your JSON and make sure that everything looks proper. So it even formats it a little bit better for me. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it um, back into where we just were. So I'll delete this and I will save it. And as you can see, the data is going to be pinned for the time being. Now, what you can do is you can go to, I can even just copy all of this and throw that all in here. Now, instead of an X social media agent, this is going to be a Instagram social media agent. So if I just rename this in that Instagram and I connect this up, what we wanted to do is since we're receiving this query, we want to have this output be in, you know, let's say hypothetically we would have to break this up into two different outputs within this query. So one could be hook, another one could be hashtags. So ideally you can break this up. Um, this would be the hook right here. We, we can't see the rest. Uh, let me see. Okay. And then you can get the hashtags right here. So if I show you, I need to give me, I need you to give me two stringified outputs from the query. Make the outputs called hook and hashtags. So we could even specify a little bit further. Um, it should understand the distinctions, but I'm just going to say just in case the hook is everything before the hashtag. So let me test this out and let me see what we get. Okay. So what it's done is it's basically separated the query. So it's taking the hook right here. I'm not really sure if you consider this a hook, it's pretty long. And then it's also taking the hashtags down below and it's separating those into two different JSON outputs. So here's the hashtags and here's the hooks. So what we can also do is if we wanted to have this agent give us reasonings for why it's giving us a specific template or a specific hook template, we can have it explain our reasoning and this will allow us to, you know, eventually improve our systems over time. Um, so we can just have the agent constantly um, give itself feedback and why it should be going with uh, a specific solution. So what we could do with this information right here is we could take the hooks, we could take the uh, hashtags and incorporate it into this agent. So if we see here, if I go to schema, we could drag both the hook and we could drag the hashtag as well. Now, this is just allowing us to pass the data from it's ultimately just a game of trying to get the data from here and putting it into this workflow. And often it can be pretty difficult. So if we choose this chat model really quick, I'm not, we're not even going to really use this, um, but we can change this Google sheet right here. So instead of this being X, we could just change it to Instagram. But yeah, that's, uh, that's essentially it. This is the quickest, and easiest method that I've found when it comes to passing data from one workflow to another. Um, yeah, I've ran into a lot of issues where I haven't been able to query anything properly, um, you know, when it comes to passing all of these variables. But, you know, I just wanted to upload this quick video to show you guys what's worked for me in the past and I figured it could work for you as well. But anyways, hope you guys found some value in this video. But if you're a business owner looking to drive revenue and create leverage within your business, then you can apply to work with us. A link will be found down below where you can check that out. And if you're looking to master AI agents and automations and learn everything and fast track your success to learning this and, you know, sell these solutions to business owners like I do myself, then you can check out the link down below in the description. And it is a link to my new community where we go over with you, helping you achieve your goals fast tracking your success to learning these agents and everything, but you can find out more with that link down below. But anyways, hope you guys found some value and I'll see you in the next one.